The people of Hellfire, brothers and sisters, they cannot handle this pain. They cannot handle the pain. So what they do, they call on the keepers of Hellfire. They call on the keepers of Hellfire to do what? To give them a break for a day. Just tell Allah to give us a break for one day. That's all we want. Just one day rest. And the keepers of hellfire قالوا, أَوَلَمْ تَكُوا تَأْتِيكُمْ رُسُولُكُمْ Didn't you guys get messengers and prophets to tell you about what to do? And the people of hellfire will say, Bella, yeah, we did. And the keepers of hellfire will say, Fado. So ask for whatever you want. No one will answer your dua. So, the people of Hellfire don't know what to do. So they call on the big keeper of Hellfire. His name is Malik. ya Malik. They keep on calling on this angel named Malik. And the hadith say they keep calling for a thousand years. Ya Malik, Ya Malik, and Malik answers. What do you want? And the people of Hellfire says, Ya Malik, tell Allah to kill us. Just end this. We can't take it anymore. And Malik answers in a very simple answer. You are staying in it forever. So their last resort is what? To call on Allah. So they will call on Allah. Qalu Rabbana. They will call on Allah. Allah! Help us. غلبت علينا شقوتنا وكنا قوما ضالين. We admit, we were very bad people. They admit now. ربنا أخرجنا من. Take us out of it. And we promise, if we do bad again, then throw us in it. Brothers and sisters, the scholars say this is one of the toughest punishments of hellfire when Allah responds back at them. And he says, اخسأوا فيها ولا تكلمون. Stay in it forever and don't talk to me again. And their lips are sealed.